In this video I'm going to do one example to show you how to find the percent of change. We're going to follow three simple steps in order to do that. And our percent of change here will not be in the context of a story problem. It's just going to be in the context of a relationship of two numbers. Alright, so my three steps are going to be step number one, we're going to subtract. Step number two, we are going to divide by our original number. And number three, then we are going to write our answer as a percent because we are trying to calculate a percent of change. Alright, now as you look at this, we're going to look at this and we're going from 27 to 48. Alright, so my original number is 27. Okay, because that comes first. And then I'm going up to 48. So this actually is a percent of increase because the two I increased. I went from 27 to 48. So this is a percent of increase. All right. Now, I could have had a percent of decrease if the numbers would have gotten smaller. If I would have started at 27 and then maybe went to 20, all right, they would have the number would have decreased, so that would have been a percent of decrease. All right, so that's pretty straightforward there. It's either going to be one or the other. It's percent of change, so it's either going to be increasing or it's going to be decreasing. All right, step one says to subtract. So I'm going to take those two numbers, and I am going to subtract normally. I'm going to take 48 is bigger, and 27 is the smaller one, so I'm just going to go 48 minus 27 and get 21. Okay. Now, step two says to divide by the original number, which means that I take 21 and divide by 27. If you are doing this in a calculator, uh, calculator, all right, then you're going to put the 21 in first, and you're going to hit divide by 27. If you are doing this longhand, without the use of a calculator, then you would need to make sure that you put 21 on the inside of the box and the 27 on the outside of the box. Add that decimal point, add some zeros, and then go to the division. Alright, let's assume though that we are using a calculator here. When you do the calculator, you are going to get an approximate answer because it, this one turns out to be 0.77777. Alright, repeating all right, <clears throat> so <clears throat> we're going to take step three now. We have a decimal answer at this point. When you divide, you have a decimal answer. Step three says write answer as a percent. All right, so step three, I need to take a look at that 0.777777 number and move the decimal two places to the right because that's how I convert from a decimal to a percent. And then, hopefully your textbook is going to tell you round to the nearest tenth, round to the nearest whole percent. It's going to indicate something. If I write it to the nearest tenth, I would have a 77.8 percent increase. If my book said to round to the nearest whole percent, all right, this eight or even this seven would make that turn up to be a 78 percent increase. Okay, so it just depends on how you are rounding there. Uh, they might even say round to the nearest hundreds, round to whatever. Okay, so your answer will vary there based on what you are rounding to. <clears throat> but one quick example of how to calculate a percent of change. It is three steps every time. Subtract. When you divide, you want to make sure you divide by the original number. All right, so in the calculator, Whatever you got when you subtracted goes in first, and then you divide by that original number of 27. If you are doing it by longhand, the answer you got when you subtracted goes inside the box. The 27, that original number, would go on the outside of the box. Do the division, move the decimal two places to the right, add the percent sign, and make that decision about whether it's a percent of increase or a percent of decrease. Definitely. Thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, don't forget to share with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.